everyone, it's Tammy, and today we're going to be doing our second card from the Hostess set, Tranquil Tulips. This is a set that's only available to our hostesses, so to become a hostess, the only requirement is that you have $150 worth of orders. Could be your own, could be gathered orders, whatever, to become a hostess, and with the hostess rewards, you get 10%, and you also are able to get hostess rewards exclusive stamp sets. And this is one of those. So I think that this one is $10. Let me double check for you. <clears throat> I didn't do that in the first one. So if you have a $150 order and you want to qualify to be a hostess, just let me know and I would be happy. Yes, it's $10. Um, I'd be happy to help you to make sure that you get what you deserve. So you could get this for free with a $150 order. And it's super sweet. I love it. It's a two stampin' set. I did my first card and it's super cute and I don't plan on this one being any different. I think this is going to be really cute too. And this card is using the Crushed Curry and Whisper White, one of our doilies, and Whisper White again. So I have and my Whisper White cut at an A2 size and I am using my bone folder to score that. I'm also using my Stampin' Scrub that I have sprayed my Stampin' Mist on to be sure that this is clean. I'm using a size D or three inch by three inch block. And I think that's everything, so let's get started. Um, this is my card base. I'm going to put my crushed curry on top of it like this. And then I think I've decided that I want to put this kind of at an angle with my flowers on top. And then I'm going to put a doily behind this in some way. And I may cut my doily in half just to save some of the doily. So I don't know. I'm not going to put this together yet until after I've done my stamping. So I'm going to get out the same scrap that I used yesterday. I'll just kind of turn it to this side. Or maybe I won't. I don't think it matters. This is just scrap. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And let's see. I want to do... I think I'll do these three again because this is really cute how they how Stampin' Up made this one. And I think I'll do it like this. Yes. That looks good. And I'm going to be using Garden Green for my stem. And I want it to fall off the page but I want it to be on the page, so like not coming off the at an angle like the previous card. And then I'm also going to be using the little leaves that come with this. And I think I'm going to do two leaves, one on this side and one on this side. And I'm gonna just do them together by laying them down how I think I want them, which might be like that. Maybe a little lower, actually. This one definitely lower. So maybe like that. So I'm going to take my block and then I'm going to ink these up and stamp those down. Just like that. And I want to use This background to the big tulip first or this one I'm gonna use this one then this one and then I'm gonna use those two <coughs> and I'm going to use my crushed curry and I think I'm gonna make this big one here in the middle look like it's blooming And I just used the first generation stamp. I just stamped right on it. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. 
just going to stamp right onto it. And then I'm going to take, my fingers are dirty, so I'm leaving my fingerprints here, which is a no-no. I need a wipe. You should never stamp with dirty fingers. I'm sure I have dirty fingers from stamping. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of stamping today. So I'm doing my closed ones here. And then I'll take the top to the closed ones, or the, yeah, I don't know what else to call it, the second stamp or the top. Isn't that cute how it just totally magically makes it look perfect and the reason I wanted to use this color was because I have a ribbon that I think will look nice with it and the ribbon is our new double stitched ribbon and this is in delightful Dijon or sorry daffodil delight but I don't have that ink so I am just going to use this. I wonder, no, I think it'll be all right. And I'm just going to cut this. And I don't know if I need a bow or not yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this here and I'm going to take my ribbon and just fold it over. like that and you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking I might take my crushed curry and I'm gonna take let's just cut this in half I'm gonna use my Stampin' Up scorer and cutter cut that in half And I'm going to take my ink and I'm just going to lightly stamp my doily. That didn't do quite what I wanted it to do. Lightly ink my doily, I guess I should say. And then I'm going to take this I'm going to swoosh the edges just a little bit. Just so it won't be such a rough transition between the white and the yellow. <laughs> That almost jumped out of my hand. Did you see that? Okay, so now I think I'm ready to stick. So I'm going to take my, my ATG tape gun and I'm going to put this down. And then I will take this and I just like to, to go right over the ribbon. And then I go on all four sides usually, depending, but most of the time. I want that kind of crooked. And then I'm going to do the same for this. And then I will take this and stick it to the card base. And I think it does need a little bow or something. So what I'm going to do is cut some of this off. And then I like to put my ribbon underneath itself to store it so that it won't come unwound like that. And then let's see if I can tie a little bow in here. 
my fingers are cooperating or not. Oh, I do want it to be like that. And I'm trying to get it so that the X's all face the same way. Because this has X's on one side and just lines on the other side. So there are the lines and here are the X's. There we go. And then I'm going to cut it off just straight. And I think I'll use a glue dot to glue this down. So I'm just taking my glue dots, picking up one of the glue dots and putting it right there. And there we go. There is card number two. Isn't that cute? This stamp set is so easy to work with too. I don't know how long these videos are taking, but it feels like no time. 11 minutes. I mean, seriously, that's adorable. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.